ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਈਅਰ 1708 ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪਲੇਸ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਨੋ ਐਸ ਤਖਤ ਸਚਖੰਡ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਹਜੂਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਥੀਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਵਰਡਸ ਮੇਰਾ ਰੂਪ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਜੀ ਜਾਨ ਇਸ ਮੈ ਭੇਦ ਨਾਰਨ ਚਕਮਾਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਮੇਰਾ ਰੂਪ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਜੀ ਜਾਨ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਨੋ ਮਾਈ ਫੋਮ to be granth ji is ma pe na ranchak man ranchak means a little bit an ayata said no not even an ayata of difference between me and the granth but how did it get to that where guru gobind singh ji said these words about what we today know as guru granth sahib ji where did that journey begin from let's take a look at that journey for how did granth ji become sri guru granth sahib ji how did they become our living guru when guru nanak dev ji patcha were on their travels and they met with the yogis the yogis asked guru nanak dev ji a question they said that who is your guru guru nanak dev ji replied saying that my guru is the shabad those words were that tera kavan guru these are the words of guru nanak dev ji telling us about that conversation tera kavan guru who is your guru jiska tu chella who you are a disciple of guru nanak dev ji pat to replied with saying shabad guru surat te tun chella they said my guru is the shabad shabad meaning the word shabad guru surat tun chella and my consciousness is the disciple of the sound of that shabad of that word the word that guru nanak dev ji referring to is that communication with god because guru nanak dev ji is completely one with that creator and the word of that one is constantly revealed to guru nanak dev ji so they said that is who i am a disciple of is of the word so then whatever was recited by guru nanak dev ji a written down as what we refer to as gurbani is the word of that one of the creator let's continue that journey of this is guru nanak dev ji telling us from the very beginning that it is the shabad it is the word that is your guru then when it came to guru nanak dev ji getting married when the pandit asked guru nanak dev ji how will you get married because guru nanak dev ji refuses to get married around the fire guru nanak dev ji writes again what we refer to as the shabad the word about akal purakh they wrote down from ek onkar to gur prasad and guru nanak dev ji with mata sulakhni ji gets married around the shabad again telling us telling the world that it's actually the shabad that is your guru the shabad meaning that where the wisdom is revealed of that one and as that journey continues the time of guru arjan dev ji paatcha ji comes they compile all the bani all the bani that gives us the wisdom of that one which we know as the adi granth compiled it into adi granth sahib guru arjan dev ji paatcha ji they do chaur sahib over guru granth sahib ji over adi granth whilst baba budda ji carries and does the seva of adi granth walking over from ramsar to sri harmandir sahib but the moment i want to bring your attention to is when guru arjan dev ji takes adi granth for sukh asan to put for rest when guru arjan dev ji takes adi granth for rest at that point when baba budda ji asks where will adi granth be resting guru arjan dev ji said in that very place where i would normally sleep on that very plank on that very bed that's where adi granth and they said what about you guru arjan dev ji guru arjan dev ji said they said me they said i now from today will sleep lower i will sleep on the floor on a chadar on a sheet on the floor showing us from that very moment that it is the shabad that is our guru the word is our guru and to that extent just like when guru gobind singh ji saying those words 
ਤਾਂ ਮੇਰਾ ਰੂਪ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਜੀ ਜਾਨ ਇਸ ਮੈਂ ਭੇਦ ਨਾ ਰੰਚਕ ਮਾਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਤ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਰੈਡੀ ਸ਼ੋਇੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਨੋ ਈਵਨ ਦੈਟ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਵੇ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਯੈਟ ਦ ਗੁਰ ਗੱਦੀ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸ਼ਿਪ ਬਟ ਵਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਰੈਸਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਫੈਲ ਐਨ ਇਰੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਆਈ and when they felt that irritation in their eye the gursex baba buddha ji said guru sahib ji what's wrong with your eye guru arjan dev ji pa ji said they said check they says go and check in granth ji while somebody is doing seva they said something's happened when baba buddha sahib ji went and they looked through the angs through the limbs of granth ji of ad granth sahib ji they found a little hair and when they removed that hair from granth ji from ard grand sahib ji guru arjan dev ji's irritation it went from their eye showing that we are one shabad bani guru guru hai bani which bani amrit sare that's why guru arjan dev ji paat ji said this is bani guru this is the word is the guru bani guru guru hai bani this is the guru is the word which bani amrit sare they said this bani this word they said it is filled with what amrit sare it is a pool of nectar it's dripping with nectar guru arjan dev ji said they also said the words this is pothi parmeshwar ka thaan they said that this pothi is that place where that formless that parmeshwar that waheguru ji actually resides continuing that journey the time of guru gobind singh ji comes Guru Gobind Singh ji after all their battles they now reach that place which is called Sabo ki Talwandi and in Sabo ki Talwandi Guru Gobind Singh ji because at that point at that time they didn't have access to Sri Adi Granth Sahib ji they didn't have Sri Adi Granth Sahib ji and so what they did was they recited all of Adi Granth Sahib off by heart and then filled it in and then they added the bani the word of guru tegh bahadur ji as well and from that point guru gobind singh ji then traveled out when they reached that place that we spoke about in the beginning that such kand sri hajur sahib takht such kand sri hajur sahib in nanded in maharashtra when they reached that place after staying there for some time guru gobind singh ji part to ji gathered got all the sangat together and they said to the sangat they said sangat ji they said at eight days time i'm going to be leaving my body and it's unimaginable when you are so besotted by your guru and what the sangat would feel when they hear these words that our guru is going to be leaving by nandlal ji folded his hands and with berag with being filled with emotion stood before his guru and said guru gobind singh if you're saying you're going to leave us physically how will we see you how will we see the guru how will we speak to the guru how will we communicate to the guru at that point guru gobind singh ji part ji said these words this is recorded by pan by nandlal ji this is teen roop hai mohe ke can this sun ho nand chit lai they said i have three forms listen oh my beautiful gursak by nandlal ji listen to these words this is nirgun sargun gur shabad kaho to he samjhaye let me give you this understanding that these are my three forms is nirgun nirgun means the formless and then sargun means the form and then gur shabad when guru gobind singh ji paach ji said gur shabad they were referring to granth ji who they used to use the words granth ji at that time and then guru gobind singh ji paach ji said so they said if you take my first form as being the formless they said but my second form they said is dusra roop granth ji jaan ho apan ang mere kar man ho they said no my second form to be granth ji then they said apan ang mere kar mano i said no the limbs of guru granth sahib ji when they said limbs they were referring to the pages and the paper but they didn't refer to it as just mere paper because tan so kagad 
कलम धन धन भांडा धन मस धन ले खारी नानका जिन नाम लिखाया सच धन सो कागद कलम धन कागद ईवन दैट कागद ईवन दैट पेपर बिकम्स ब्लैस्ड दैट्स वाई गुरु गोबिंद सिंह जी सैड दिस इज नॉट जस्ट पेपर दिस इज एक्चुअली माय लिम्स एंड दिस गुरु गोबिंद सिंह जी सेइंग दीज वर्ड्स वी ऑलरेडी हेयर द स्टोरी द साखी ऑफ व्हाट हैपेंड विद गुरु अर्जुन देव जी पातशाह जी टू शो दैट दिस एक्चुअली इज द वेरी लिम ऑफ द गुरु एंड व्हेन दे सेड दिस संगत जी and then but pai nandalal ji is still saying to their guru still saying to guru gobind singh ji they said but how how are we going to connect to you guru gobind singh ji and at that point guru gobind singh ji said can they shabd sunay you know the word every word that is written within guru granth sahib ji said sabd sunay can they gur hit chit lai can they how do you listen to the guru's word can they hit hit means with your heart chit with full consciousness with fully being focused can they hit the chit lai and sangat ji and the truth is many of us today we might read gurbani we might be doing what we refer to as doing our part but often many of us still feel empty because it's not done in this way because guru gobind singh ji said can they suno gur listen to the guru can they help and they hit chit with your heart with full concentration then they said can they gyan shabad gur can they, you know the guru he provides you with wisdom about this life about this creation about god can they suno sune sunaye can they you take it and listen to it attentively and then they said you then go then you go and then you allow others to hear it as well and then by nandalal ji they continue to listen and still feeling emotional that guru sahib ji is really going to be leaving us and then guru gobind singh ji says this kende kende jo mam saath chah kar baat kende you say that how will we speak to you this is but whoever wants and has that in a yearning to speak to me this is then kende granth ji padhe bichare saath kende then read padhe read the granth this is padhe and then bichare this is but contemplate so the key here is to contemplate it then guru gobind singh ji said saath he said if you contemplate the word then i'll be with you i'll be by your side saath but guru granth sahib ji says kende bani birlo bichar si je ko gurmuk hoye guru gobind singh ji paach ji is saying that i'll be with you if you contemplate guru granth sahib ji saying there is only very few that actually contemplate what i am saying so then Guru Gobind Singh ji at that point said these words where we started from this is mera roop granth ji jaan isme pedna ranchak maan no no difference between me and granth ji and at that point guru gobind singh ji padshah they said teesra roop sikh hai mor my third form are the sikhs but even then they said gurbani rat jeh ne sapor the ones that were imbued in this gurbani and sangat ji after this conversation when that day came for guru gobind singh ji padshah to give the gurgaddi to guru granth sahib ji at that point guru gobind singh ji had gathered all the sangat they put their hands together and they bowed and they did matha tek before guru granth sahib ji guru gobind singh ji padshah ji start to do chaur sahib over guru granth sahib ji Pai Mani Singh ji at that point took a hukam nama and it said the words that came of the hukam nama that day were khulya karam kripa pai thakur kirtan har har gai these are the words from the hukam nama sahib of that day and after saying this the famous words that we all know they might differ slightly over from different historians but sangat ji let's all say these words guru gobind singh ji said to all the sangat this is agya pai akal ki tab chalayo panth they said that when i was given the order from that supreme timeless being to create and formulate this path guru gobind singh ji said this says from that very moment to now it says that this is now the order this is sab sikhan ko hukm hai guru manyo granth this is for you to take on the granth as your guru now 
ਇਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਜੀ ਮਾਨਿਓ ਪ੍ਰਗਟ ਗੁਰਾਂ ਕੀ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਟੇਕ ਥਿਸ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਦ ਫੋਰਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੋ ਮਿਲ ਬੋਚ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹੂ ਐਵਰ ਯੈਨਸ ਟੂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਮੀਟ ਵਿਦ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਿਦ ਗੋਡ ਇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਖੋਜ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਮੈ ਲੈ ਇਸ ਸੇਡ ਯੂ ਕੰਟੈਂਪਲੇਟ ਥੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਯੂ ਕੰਟੈਂਪਲੇਟ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਜੀ ਵਿਚ ਵੀ ਟੂਡੇ ਨੋ ਐਜ਼ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਅਸ ਵਿਦ ਆਰ ਇਟਰਨਲ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਹੂ ਹੈਸ ਸੇਵਡ ਮਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਆਫ ਹਿਊਮਨਸ ਨੋਟ ਜਸਟ ਸੀਕਸ ਹੈਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਸੈਂਚਰੀ ਟੂ ਮਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਆਫ ਥੋਸ ਦੈਟ all over the world you can walk into a gurudwara and sit in front sit in the feet of your guru and feel that calmness inside of you guru granth sahib ji is that guru today that all blesses us and showers us with their grace so let us take on the words of guru gobind singh ji those words where guru gobind singh ji said that i'll be with you but contemplate these words don't just don't just make it an empty ritual where we just chew and spit back out let that bani go deep inside of us let it truly become that nectar that takes us to that place of immortality and that fills our hearts with sweetness so sangat ji let's take guru granth sahib ji path cha ji into our hearts let's remain at the feet of guru granth sahib ji and keep doing ardas for guru ji to keep us in the charan sharan wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh